Uh, m- hi, hi. My name's Mark Grist. I live in the British city of Peterborough. I, I used to be an English teacher. I'm approaching middle age, and I really want to learn how to rap. Mark, 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 Trying to freestyle. We mile. E- I last night I watched the green mile. I oh, know I didn't. Tom Hanks. Uh, no thanks. I prefer to watch Russell Crowe. He yeah, have a stumble flow. I can't watch it. Watch you go, go gadget rhyme. You can't handle mine. I it's gonna dance like a pantomime. Um. The material I've written isn't much better. Uh, That's my mate Ross. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's it's quite frantic, isn't it? Yeah. I've been playing him some tracks I've been working on. Yeah, it's like the merry-go-rounds going really, really fast, and you've tried to like jump on, and then you've kind of like uh, one of those. Yeah, I kind of I've like kind a of, unicorn's yeah. nutted you in the groove. I kind of figure if you're water rafting or something, you you got to just fall off. First yeah, of all. yeah, yeah. But it, I, don't, I don't know if they say that in. in in hip hop, Mark, that's the problem. No. Maybe they do. I don't. I, I don't don't mean to put. Yeah. Know, I don't know anything about rap. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know much about whitewater rafting, to be honest, either. I put these tracks together over the space of four weeks. I, j- I just wanted to see what I'm capable of in a month. Really, there's four tracks I managed to produce. They're um. Yeah. Well, they they're sort of. Uh... No, I mean, I, 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 I think courses are really, really hard in rap. They are hard. Yeah, I think I think they're probably not great, but um, do you know what? I really enjoyed writing them. I've been a massive fan of hip hop for my entire life. When I was in the booth bouncing those words I'd written against the music, well, well, a lot of it didn't make sense, but there were some moments as well when everything just connected, and it just felt like a kind of like a a more alive version of me like like I had a different kind of energy that I didn't know I had within me listen man though there's a big difference between how something feels to me and how something sounds to other people as like a first attempt if it's like your first time ever going into a booth and doing something like that I think uh it's a it's a, it's a that's it could a be worse, noble beginning it, it, could, it could be worse so you're gonna go back into the studio and do like another take at it uh yeah, I, 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 I will do. Uh, not, it, but these are really where they're going to be for what I, I need to use them for. Um, which is uh, a, a guy, a guy within the music industry is going to listen to them next week. I've, I've got a meeting scheduled in uh, in in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I loved how casually you just dropped Mexico. Yeah. I'm just a. Uh... I gotta take my rap songs to uh, to Mexico. Yeah, I'm not joking uh, about the meeting. Uh, it sort of fell into my lap. See, I'd listened to what I'd made, and, and I thought, well, I, I I need some feedback. So I hit out on social media, um, just asking people, really, would they listen? And nobody got back until a week later. One guy did, uh, and he said he knew someone that he thought would be able to help. He said this guy's name was Stefan Lukic, that he works for Red Bull. His title? The Global Head of Music Innovation. That's, um... He sounds like he's going to be quite a busy guy. Yeah, he's he's really busy. They've got a massive event that they're they're sorting out over there. But he's he's up for it. Like, he said, 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 yeah, he said that I would have to go to him. Yeah. So... Um, I've booked my my flight. Uh, Just out of curiosity, Mark, what is the biggest job title that you have ever had? Oh, teacher, that counts. I mean, teacher, yeah, teacher. I was head of year. That's legit. Head that's, of year. That's, yeah, head of year. <laughs> well, not global head of year, but <laughs> responsible responsible for the the safeguarding and 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 uh, safety and development of about two hundred and twenty. Uh, 
13 to 14 year olds. Have you considered global head of year as your rap? No, name? that would be, um, oh my goodness, the number of kids you'd be dealing with chucking yogurts <laughs> over each other and trying to like, I've got about, I'm getting about half an hour of his time. So I've got to play them to him and find out what, I mean, he, he is global head of music innovation. That, the only thing I, w- I would point out is, as far as like innov- innovation goes, I, right, now bear with me, they're not perfect. But I did, they don't sound like any hip hop that I listen to, like exactly, right, like they right, do yeah. sound a Yeah. No, that's true, we don't. It does sound a bit different. I just, answer me this um, as honestly as you can, Mark, all right? Just, do you think you're going to be coming back from Mexico with a record contract? Uh, I, I think it's, I, I think that would be ridiculous. I think that's incredibly unlikely. Okay, good. good. But. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I but, knew it. But you, but, but you never know. You never know. And that was that. I looked up flights, booked myself on the cheapest one I could find. When do you leave? Thursday, next Thursday. I know this is probably a really bad idea, but when someone says the words global head of music innovation to you, what are you going to do? Now, I'm not the best at going on journeys. I get a little anxious in airports at the best of times, but I kept wondering during the flight, I mean, what will Stefan even look like? I decide to listen to my tracks again, putting them into the order I'm gonna play them to Stefan. So the first one I listen to is called Tea Fiend. Uh, it's about agreeing to make a cup of tea for my wife. She's a tea fiend, seems sweet, but always under siege. Needs the kettle heated up before she even wants to see me. Nestled by the TV, I know it sounds sleazy, but her lust for that stuff has gone way beyond PG. Uh, the, the second the second one I listened to is, is called It's Mark Grist, which um, probably sounds quite egotistical, um, but I just wanted to rhyme with Mark Grist a bit. Mark Grist, come on, win. They're charting and serving underarm with advantage. Now passes how hard so fast that his calves are red carded. Now sprawling lethargic in his starboard and his starship, basking darkness 20 barking stations guarded. The third one is called Welcome to Peterborough. Um, because I don't, I just thought I'd write about where I live. Hey, good to see you. I'm so glad you made it. I hope you weren't waiting too long in Cambridge. Let me take your cases. I'll stick them up on the back seat. You sit up in the front. I can't believe it's actually been this long since you last seen me. And the last one is called I Like, and it's about stuff that I like. Sunshine and pops, dandelion and burdock Whenever a couple of fellas come out to visit the bird box I like time with my dog High-fiving someone because the car alarms outside my house are finally turned off L- Listening to those tracks You know, what I've got to play him I just, I just find myself thinking What on earth am I doing? When I get to Stefan's tower block there's a huge scrum of people outside. It's the day before a massive event called Batalas de las Galos. It's a freestyle rap tournament where you get 60 different MCs from 12 countries across the world, all competing to find out who will be crowned a top freestyle MC. It's being held in Mexico City's arena with hundreds of thousands of people watching it all throughout the world. Red Bull coordinate the entire event and they're in the final stages of preparation. So there's beatboxers, there's MCs, graphics artists, labels, journalists and management all coming and going through security. When I get into the building, I see Stefan almost straight away. He's asking all about the flight. He's asking whether I have enough legroom, if I feel well rested, the journey from the airport. All the time, also dealing with a crowd of people around him. Kind of feels like I'm talking to a really busy consultant in a hospital. I feel really aware of the time that I'm taking up already. I walk past an array of very high-end media equipment, get into the room and start pulling cables and microphones out of my bag and realise that I've forgotten the clips I need to connect my little lapel mics to our tops. So he comes in and he sits down and we get some sellotape to attach the microphone. And... We have our 30 minutes. 
Um, well, my name is Stefan Lukic and I'm the head of music innovation in Red Bull. And I really appreciate you giving me some of your time. It's uh, my pleasure. To listen to this stuff. I've got, I've got four. <laughs> okay. Um, but mind you, not, they, most of them are quite short. Okay. <laughs> Do you listen to a lot of music? I try to, I try to. I'm, I'm really eclectic on the music. I like classical music. I study classical music also for, for four years, uh, saxophone and bass. But uh, I'm also now passionate about electronic music. I'm passionate about uh, drum bass. I'm uh, passionate for too many different kinds of, of music, so. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll play what I've got. Okay. Um, and you. If you can give me your honest let's feedback. Let's see. I mean, you know, I, I hear a lot of tracks, you know, so that's, I, I would try to be as much, um, how can I say, it, the, as much as uh, respectful for you, but uh, <laughs> I will, okay. I will okay. give well, you my honest opinion. Okay, okay. well that means you know? a lot, that means yes. a lot. Yes. Um, yes. And I appreciate you giving me your time to, okay. to check these that. So, um, I open up my laptop. My ideas for tracks seem a little bit absurd now. I was trying to st struggle with what to write about, and I thought um, I make my wife tea every day, yeah. so I was like, well, I'll write, a, I'll write a, a hip hop track about making cups of tea. Okay, okay, let's see. He's a tea fiend, seems sweet, but always under siege. Needs the kettle heated up before she even wants to see me. Nestled by the TV, I know it sounds sleazy, but her lust for that stuff has gone way beyond PG. It's interesting. I've used the word interesting to describe things before, and I don't think I've ever liked those things. It's too repetitive. Yeah. It's all the time the same thing for, it seems, for, for the entire song. Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe the, the part that is here is like, it's too obvious, no? You can really listen to you that you are exhausted. Yeah, okay, yeah. You know, there's even a big breath that you <gasps> yeah, yeah. listen in the middle of the track, you know? <gasps> I just think you are, it's like, you know these people who say, oh, I like Nutella, I like chocolate, and I like also Spanish ham. So why we don't do a, a sandwich of Nutella and Spanish ham, you know? It doesn't make sense, but why are you doing this, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's kind of, because I can imagine myself doing this kind of song. On but the it's, shower, but it's not, but that's not, I need to move on from that. Absolutely. Okay. I think you should move on. Yeah. I'm not ready for a record label though, I think it's fair to say. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's see. <laughs> it's just this is going so badly now, I figure I might as well lay out everything I've got. This, I just thought I'd try and rap about things that I liked. Okay. I just thought, like, I'm just going to rap about things that I like. Um, You're kind of screaming also. No? Yeah. You're screaming, you're too high. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. I got nervous, so I just yes. thought I, my voice was sounded weird. You know when you hear your voice, it sounded weird, so I just thought I'll just shout it. Like yes. I just go really. But you, tr you also communicate that, you know, in the song. Yeah. So that can also, the person can perceive it. So when you're listening to someone who's shouting in the song, it's like, yeah. what's wrong with this guy? You okay. Know? So you also does need it to sound be like careful. This, yeah. Does it, does it yeah, sound like this kind of, No, I'm happy, but I'm happy and I'm screaming because I'm happy, you know? And then it's kind of, okay, you're a mark, it's fine. You know, it's just a song. Take it easy. Take it easy. Sure. So you need to also take care of that details. You take care of the beat, you take care of the, of the, of the lyrics. You mm -hmm. also need to take care about how you say the things. And it's then that the whole meeting goes down a route I'd never expected. Which do you think is, which do you like the most? I think it really goes to you. What do you want to be as an artist? Who is Margaret? Uh, Stefan, I don't really know. Uh, as soon as you def define who you want to be and how do you want to be perceived by the audience outside, the easier it will be for you to recognize what things go in and what things go out. And, and remember always, you are creating art. And if you don't take this as, as, as an art, if you don't really feel it as an art, you will fail. Okay, Stefan, I really appreciate you giving me some of your time. <laughs> And, uh, You're welcome. And, and your honest feedback. I'm um, really looking forward to see the final album, you know? Oh, really? or, or uh, at least an AP short, three, five songs. Yeah. I'm, 
I'm really looking forward, yeah. Let's see the results of all of this. Stefan gives me another hug and says that he's really excited about the journey I'm going on. He thinks it'll be really good for me. He also says I have to speak to as many artists as possible. I assure him that I, I will. You have to, he says. Then I, I turn around and walk back out into the Mexican sun. Who is Mark Grist? I don't know. The next day, I pack up my bags and I head to the hotel foyer to get in my taxi. When it arrives, uh, the taxi driver tells me we've got to wait for one other person. After five minutes, this guy appears with a Batalas de las Galos baseball cap on. He's got a massive beard, thick sunglasses and a walking stick. We drive off. He tells me that his name is Ali. I say I'm here to see if I can rap. He laughs at that and says, can you? Not really, I say. Well, I can rap. And I teach people that can't rap how to rap. I'm starting to wonder why Stefan put us in a taxi together. Ali starts talking to me about his work in Mexico City and how he teaches the basics to children. And I say, look, I know you're heading to the airport, but I've got this equipment in my bag. Is it all right if I just take it out and record you? Well, basically, hip hop saved my life as it is, as we speak. So, uh, in all the jobs that we do as rapper, we also teach kids. I think this is the most important thing that yeah, yeah. we want to hear, right? So, we teach kids that we help our community that live in circumstances that obviously have violence, drugs, prostitution, stuff like that. Um, we help them out by teaching them how to rap. Um, basically, we do teach them how to rap, but the whole thing about teaching how to rap is not only teaching how to rap, it's giving them people skills or ability skills to be able to, to express themselves and manage themselves inside society and also be able to help others if necessary because it's the whole thing of being able to help out others. That's, that's the whole main base of hip hop itself. Okay. It's not only about competition and, and who else spits better, but it's also about helping out your brother. Can I ask a favor? Sure. I've got three examples of tracks that I've tried to write. Okay. Could I play you them, yeah, like sure. snippets of them? Yeah. And because I've been, I've been doing this, um, Stefan uh, Lukic was like, giving me feedback on it for the first episode of the podcast. Right, okay. But it would be cool to have your perspective as well. Sure. Um, and I think if you hear like some snippets, you'll be able to see where I'm... Of course. Like sunshine and pops, dandelion and burdock. Whenever a couple of fellas come out to visit the bird box, I like time with my dog. High five in someone because the car alarms outside my house are... Oh my God, this is crazy. Hard on FIFA, swimming pools and margaritas. Anytime that something's interrupted... All right, stop. Yeah. All right, this is the cool thing. You have your style. That's awesome. That's the first thing that... I mean, biting is one of the worst things you can do in hip-hop. So, okay. So, biting, no, no. <laughs> okay. So, the good thing is that you have a style, and I like it. Um, you have this fun style, and this song that you're showing me, you have this fun style. You have the idea of where it starts and where it begins. Okay. But you have no control in the middle. Yeah. That's the thing that you lose. You lose the whole thing in the middle. So, you're... You you start good. You're like yeah here, but yeah. imagine you're like yes, oh, 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 oh here. You started right where you needed to start, and you ended where you needed to end. But in the middle, you totally lost track of all. Yeah, the so, the, the flow was all over the place. Yeah, I, I'm like scared, so, so, and so I start so, shouting in okay, this one. This don't be scared. Okay, you got you cannot be scared because if you're scared, you're not gonna try things. So okay. never be scared. Always be ready to try new things, even if you think it's gonna sound ridiculously dumb, let's say, you gotta try it. Because that's the whole thing about creating. And by mistake, you can end up by doing something that nobody does. And this is like something that you did, that you created, that is you. Okay, so the okay. cool thing is that you do have your style. Okay. You do know good. where to start and where to end, but you had to have control on the middle. As yeah, a, yeah, yeah, because when I, when I started, I didn't realize this. So I started, and I, I'd, have a, I'd have a good line, but it would then become really stressful and really hard to work out where I was going with that rhyme, All right. like how to keep coming up with content that didn't feel like it was diminishing each, each, mm -hmm. each line as I was getting further away from my, my strongest line. Like, 
people hear the beat and they hear all of the sounds around, right? You yeah. hear, uh, they hear like, I don't know, I think you hear a, fl a flute or a violin or something there and they start freaking out because they're like, this whole instruments in, are, are playing at the same time, but they lose the main objective of the kick and the snare. So as I told you, it's imagine you're drawing a horse. So if you're drawing a horse, you gotta focus on the horse. The rest of the things that you see, the barn, the trees, the sun, and everything is to make the horse pretty. Yeah. So yeah. To make your bars, to make your flow pretty. So when you're rapping or you're doing this song, yeah, you gotta focus always on that. Kick, snare, kick, snare. And kick, don't get distracted snare. by everything else because yeah. I've, I've definitely done that. And when I you do that, and when you get to learn that, your mind does it by itself eventually because your brain is already adapted to it. So, like an idea, I don't know if you can Yeah, cool. Like you're hearing this, right? You hear like the voices, samples. That's what every, every, almost all the beat makers work with. Right? So you hear this, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a slow tempo. And people freak out because it's, uh, this is under 80, 80 BPM, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So, but people are hearing the voice and hear this one. But they're not, they're missing the whole. That's a double kick. Now, let's say that, let's see, let's see. All right, I think this is something, I think this beat is more upbeat, so this is gonna okay. be better. So, basically, it's, it's, it, as I said before, it's like drawing or, or doing the horse, right? So you hear this, right? Oh, yeah. And, and you're hearing this and you're, you're focusing on the, on the other sounds, but you gotta focus on the main one, which yeah. is your kick and your snare, because that's what. Okay, so that kick. There you go. Kick. Okay, yeah, yeah. There you go. Kick. So you gotta fit the words. So when you start writing, you gotta fit the words in those spaces. Now, for example, me that I, I practice more and I do this yeah. you know, every day, I can start writing, I can start rapping at this point. Haciéndolo de nuevo, saben que yo busco porque siempre soy el juego. Quieren saber cómo lo estoy haciendo. Voy buscando, no me voy evadiendo. Dejo espacios en un promedio. Siempre sigo en el asedio. Busco todo para poder hacerlo siempre. You see how it went up, then I went down, yeah. then I left some spaces, and then I came back. Because I already know how, how, it, how the beat works. So since I already know the spaces in between of the beat, I already yeah. know how to work it out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I learned how to dominate the first thing, which is kick, snare, kick, snare. But you're chopping your flow up as well. Yeah. You're, you're moving it yeah. about. How long did it take to work out about, about how to kind of keep switching the flow? Because I can, I can hit like a kind of, uh, poetry, poetry meter kind mm -hmm. of like kind of kind of thing. Uh -huh. But um, but I it, what I find amazing is when I see people switch it up, right? All right. Like, uh, that, here's a trick. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So, okay, okay. Let's say um, uh, let's say um, let me see a word in English that can fit like that. Um, all right. Uh, this is this is a good example. If you see, if you hear that, let's the word. Let's say we say, "Mama said no." Mama okay. said no. That's Mama said right. no. Mama said no. Mama said no. Okay. Now say, "Mama said no" a different way. Mama said no. Different way. Mama said no. Different way. Mama said no. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's okay. You, I'm gonna teach you one that we do in Spanish, which is Pepe Pica Papa. Okay. Pepe Pica Papa. Pepe Pica Papa. Yeah, Pepe Pica Papa is like uh, Peter uh, cuts oh, yeah, potatoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pepe Pica Papa. That's cool. something. But like say, how do I say Pepe Pica Papa in different ways? Like, I'm going to give you a sample. Pepe Pica Papa. 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 Pepe Pica Papa six different ways to yeah, say it. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you want to rap like that, or, or you, you got to start doing it, this mm. you got to learn the basic, which is mm. that. And it takes you, if you practice constantly, it takes you about two months. Okay. But that's like a grind, grind, 15 minute at least session yeah, a day. Yeah. Like, it's like, imagine you're going to the gym. Basically, that's it. So you're like, uh, if I say a line, I can say it different ways. Estoy tranquilo cazando venados. Estoy tranquilo cazando venados. Estoy tranquilo cazando venados. Different ways. Mm. It's the same thing, but mm. I say it differently because I already learned how to do, how to practice 
and how to how to keep my objective which is the kick and the snare and knowing that allows you to know the rest of the things better you have eight counts to create two bars so it's one two three four one two three four there's your two bars one two three four one, two, three, four, four bars. Each fourth bar, it's a punchline. Why is it a punchline? Because if you hear every rap song that you hear that has 16 bars, you will notice that every fourth, every eighth, every 12, every 16, there's a hard line or there's a line yeah, that you yeah, go, yeah. damn. Do you write your punchlines first and then work back, work towards Yeah, it. for example, you prepare everything. So if you're like, one, two, three, four first bar one yeah. two three yeah. four second bar already there you're already given the idea on the one two three four on the third bar you're already given out as it is that here it comes here comes a big idea and on your last bar which is the last four kicks that's where you do the punch there you go cool All right. um, is it worth to try one more like I, we're already at the airport so oh okay no, that if you want to if you want to write down my contact yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's wicked. thank you so much for, for, for the feedback on, on that um is there any any like tips that you think i need to work on like first like flow, flow. Right, get your flow first then once you get your flow get your writing remember what i told you it's making an elephant fit in a restroom get the spaces try to do this the -na 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 but once you get that, try to say now something. Do okay. When I got onto the plane, I wrote down the lessons Ali gave to me. Don't be scared. There's loads of sounds on a beat that can distract and overwhelm you. Just focus on the kick and the snare. The one, two, three, four. Just right around that. If you want to help center yourself, you can always tap your chest on the first and the third of each beat. Chest and point. Chest and point. Chest and point. Chest and point. Also, I need to practice changing the way I deliver a line. And I need to do this a lot. Like time with my dog. I like time with my dog. I like time with my dog. I like time. The way Ali talks about what hip-hop means to him, it's clear that teaching others is at the heart of what it represents. It's about helping people and sharing your talents. So there have to be artists around the UK who'd be willing to help me improve. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to seek out teachers, I'm going to interview them, I'm going to record what they have to say for this podcast. And at the end of the series, which will be seven episodes, I'll take everything that I've learned and I'll release an EP. Just me and some beats. I should be better by then. I might be worse, but either way, I've got seven episodes to learn how to rap. If I can even learn how to rap at all. And if it's even all right for me to do this in the first place. I think I know exactly the right person to talk to about that. Undefeated UK battle rap champion, Tony D. Next time on the podcast. The NA censored that shotty verse arse shit. Yeah. Bam versus bullets. That event had some bars missed. And the opponent for my dumb flop title. That was Mark Gris. <laughs> you yeah. use me as a punchline. Why did that land? That is a great question. <laughs> this podcast was written by me, Mark Grist, and produced by Ross Sutherland. Uh, you can listen to Ross's podcast, Imaginary Advice, online as well. We've attached a link in the description to the show. This podcast is supported by Arts Council England. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.